Um, please tell us your name and roll number for this exam. Uh, my name is Sushrat Kumar Behra, and uh, my roll number is three zero three two one nine. Okay. So now, without telling us your name and roll number, please give a brief introduction. Sir, my hometown is Barkur, Deogar, and I completed my schooling from there. After that, I completed my graduation and post graduation in computer science from Government Autonomous College, Raurkela. Then I joined Kid University for my MTech degree and completed it in the year 2015. Uh, my bachelor's degree in education I completed in the year 2019, sir. And after that, I am preparing for uh, Odisha government examinations. And my hobby are playing cricket as well as some specific kind of social works. Okay. And uh, what are the hobbies which you have mentioned in your uh, CIF? Uh, sir, uh, playing cricket uh, as well as some social activities. Okay. Uh, playing cricket. And any special achievements that you have mentioned? Uh, no, sir. Yes. Okay. So, it's playing cricket and your social activities. Uh, what are the qualities which you have uh, imbibed or learned from them, which you can use in your uh, service of educational administrator? Uh, from cricket players, sir? Uh, from your hobbies, yes. Yes, sir. Sir, first of all, the calmness of being a leader and as well as a team management, how to manage a team and how to handle a situation. All these qualities I can learn from a cricket player like MS Dhoni. Uh, he's my role model. So from him, I can learn all the things. And sir, in case of social service, uh, I mean, sir, uh, service to mankind is service to God, actually, sir. So I think it is, if I am given an opportunity to service for the mankind, it is a achievable thing for me. So, sir, that's why I do social service in some time. Okay. So, why are you... Uh... Uh, so currently you are working? No, sir. Not you are uh, preparing for uh, various yes, competitive sir. exams. Yes. So why are you interested for uh, Odisha Education Service? Give me three reasons at least. Sir, uh, nowadays means the education is uh, uh, diversified into from low, road learning towards uh, uh, digital platform. So, sir, as in uh, as my background is computer science, I think I will be do certain changes uh, according to the advancement of technology. And sir, as uh, I am a team player, sir, I believe in teamwork. So this quality will uh, help me to cope up with other staff as well as other members of the school and uh, do for the betterment of the school. And uh, thirdly, sir, uh, Actually, the teaching profession is a novel profession, and uh, the teaching profession likes uh, young students, uh, needs uh, youngsters uh, like us. Sir. So, uh, I think uh, this quality will help me to bring some reforms in the education. Okay. So, um... According to you, what are the major issues that our school education system is facing in Odisha? Top three, you can tell me. And suppose you are given the opportunity to uh, solve it. You are given all the resources and powers. Then uh, how will you solve it? Uh, sir, first uh, problem is uh, enroll in, enrollment and uh, retention problem, sir. So, means uh, due to some reason students are not able to complete their primary education till now, sir. So my first priority will be to have a talk with parents as well as school teachers to find out the root cause of particular that area, what are the root causes 
and uh, why they are means, not coming to school, what problems they are facing. Maybe it is, it may be a below poverty line area, maybe uh, there is a communication problem, maybe the guidelines that are provided by Sarvasikya Vision, the schools are not uh, sticking to that. What are the problems? First, I will look into it, and uh, after that, I will do my best to overcome it. And secondly, sir, the infrastructure is not up to date, sir. Actually, it is not meeting the global standard. And thirdly, sir, the means funding system that is currently for education sector, it is 4.6% is being provided. But as per recommendation of National Education Policy 1968, since then it is required 6%. So means uh, somewhere it is lacking funds. The, these are the problems, sir. And if I will get all the resources, then with my high, with the coordination with my higher authority, I will just go to the grassroots level of all the problems and uh, this have a discussion with higher authority. And as it is a teamwork, uh, so I need support from community also. So the wise persons of the community, and uh, I will inform all the matters to the school management committee as well, where there are participation of the parents, teachers, te some NGOs, as well as students. So by the method of cooperation with others, I will try to find out the solution to the problems. Okay, so uh, you can start your presentation. You can use the marker. Okay, sir. And after your presentation, we will have questions on the. Okay, sir. Return a portrait of the to chair the side way. Okay, sir. Good morning, children. How are you all? Good. Sit down, sit down. Okay. An important announcement for you students. As the state is running through rising COVID cases, so you should all follow the guidelines provided by government and maintain a hygienic environment. Got it? Okay, okay. Good. So, can anyone tell me what we have learned from the last class? Okay, okay. Yes, it was network, networking. Okay, okay. So, any questions or any problems regarding that topic? So, all is okay with that topic? Okay. So, today we will go to, today we will learn another topic. And before that, I will ask you some questions. You just answer it, okay? Do you have any knowledge about computer? Obviously, you all have the knowledge of computer. What is computer? How it works? Okay. Secondly, do you have knowledge about operating system? The types of operating system, how they are operated, and which operating system is suitable for which environment? Okay. In the previous classes, we have discussed all about, right? And third, network. In the previous class, last class, we have decided, we have talked about this network, okay? So, just tell me, when you are at home, and uh, just heard about the thing that my account has been had, someone has withdrawn money from my account, you must have come across such thing, right? If not done by you, also in the society, you have got such news, right? Yes. So why this, why this happens? This happens due to lack of security features, okay? Lack of security features. Where there is a lack of security features, 
there is a gap between the security and the system and the hacker gets a place to enter into your system that is known as threat okay that is known as threat so to defend that threat to coming into our system we need security so today our topic is cyber threat and security okay as the term cyber threat and security we can divide it into cyber threat and security what is cyber cyber is where there is a communication and there is a involvement of electronic device now all of you must have heard about electronic device rahul can you tell me what is an electronic device means what are the electronic device we use yes computer laptop mobiles yes so they are the communication device we use okay so cyber means when there is when we use some kind of communication device and there is a gap in security features and someone attacks us that is known as threat okay so threat can be categorized into two types what are they any idea okay okay no problem just i am telling it is system based and web based okay threat that are system based threat and web based threat when it comes to system based threats there is no need to involve any network over it or there is no need of any internet connectivity for that but when it comes to web based approach then there is a connect internet connection and through that internet connection the hacker is trying to get into our system got it yes okay so system based threats are virus macro virus arms trojan horse worms etc and when it comes to web based approach they are dns spoofing session hijacking etc so no 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 that virus is not that virus we are studying in biology But when you just imagine a virus obviously a picture comes to your mind that it might be a microorganism that is injected into the system like that right but when we are talking about virus in computer system it is not any physical entity rather than it is a program okay it is a program file so it is it may come from many aspects like when you insert you are inserting a pen drive without scanning when you are inserting a cd or any other corrupted device into your computer system then there is a chance of attack of virus if proper antivirus software is not loaded into your system okay so secondly macro virus what is macro virus macro virus is a kind of virus that also resides in a particular location at your computer system it stays ideally okay it has nothing to do it cannot do anything until and unless you are touching that file 
fire it has been recited but when you open the oil then it spreads like very rapidly and corrupts your system and the other systems to which you are sending data thirdly spams you must have knowledge about spams yes or no yes yes spam in emails also you have uh, just uh, seen a folder like spams yes so spams are basically unauthorized advertisements that are provided to our system how they get into our system they loaded heavily into our system and creates traffic do you know traffic in uh, means so when there is a jam we are not able to go and uh, we stops like that our system stops working due to the traffic in network so how it how spams get into our system and next is trojan horse remember this it is the most destructive malicious software that is you must have uh, heard about i love you software blue whale game yes i love you software that has caused means that has destroyed data of millions of computer in usa and asia okay and blue whale game you must have known heard about it their target group is small children like you you just install the game play it they take away the data and after that they just started blackmailing you they steal your personal identity okay so it is trojan horse so these all are system based threat and next one is web web based threat okay so next class we will discuss about web based threat but before that we will learn about something about the persons who actually do this the persons who does this are known as hackers okay so hackers may be categorized into three types okay hackers may be categorized into three types means there are three types of hackers what are they they are black hat hackers secondly gray hat hackers and thirdly white hat hackers okay i think that will be fine okay yes. very good please take your seat Okay, so presentation was very good. Uh, now coming to the practical aspect of it. So during COVID, yes, sir. A uh, lot of these uh, schools were using uh, the online classes, yes. especially for uh, you know the smaller classes or the uh, class one to class five, six, seven. So those uh, students. Okay, how to protect them from uh, the problems related to security threats related to uh, computers? Uh, sir, when means we are exposed to a computer system or 
mobile devices we can use a parental lock and give a limited access to children and uh, some restrict means restricted sites should be blocked and uh, some limited access, access should be given to the children so that means uh, they were, they will be unable to divert from the actual goal okay so um, can you tell me something about the reasons of this ongoing war between russia and ukraine and what are what are the consequences of that war sir the war between ukraine and russia actually sir it happened due to the activity of ukraine where it wanted to join the nato union and uh, russia um, does not uh, actually want uh, ukraine to join nato it has some means uh, self uh, selfishness uh, involved in it but uh, at the same time it could be a threat for its uh, integrity and security that's why it objected and uh, in a uh, non formal way actually requested ukraine to not to join nato but uh, due to means disagreement between their uh, situation the means uh, conflict situation actually arises so sir it is a thing of uh, thought not only to russia or ukraine it is a means russia ukraine those are uh, global entity and a part of uh, globalization so means uh, as uh, the countries who are dependent upon uh, russia or means uh, ukraine in some ways they are now means uh, heavily lost due to this because sir uh, if we will look into the education sector uh, ukraine is providing education in a very cheaper rate as compared to india so most of the students are uh, means going to ukraine for different kind of study courses as the war broke out they are they just left ukraine and came to india and as the syllabus is different as the teaching methodology different and as the means counseling is different they are facing different kind of problems sir and secondly when means those countries which were buying oil from russia the nato as well as the some some influence countries are have threatened them not to buy anything from russia and boycott all the things so it is not a good sign for globalization as well as for the betterment of the world sir okay good so now coming to uh, your uh, opinion on uniform civil code you know what is uniform civil code uh, sir though i know means currently i am unable to recall sir okay um same sex marriage uh, same sex marriage legality of same sex marriage what is your opinion should in india should we allow same sex marriage or uh, should we provide it uh, legal sanctity uh, sir in the current scenario means i don't think it is a good step to include same sex marriage hmm. obviously the means uh, it, a right to privacy as well as a right to life life a complete free life is the right of an individual provided by the constitution but um, as means our country is a cultural heritage as well as it has some it is providing some value based education and becoming a global leader in all the sectors so i don't think it will give a proper message to the society firstly and secondly sir if it is legalized then sir means uh, as it it will be also hamper the biological aspect of the life sir because as our universe was created it was from since then we are means uh, observing that to means uh, it, it is passing from generation to generation and to continue with generation um, a male and a female is required 
So that's why, sir, current in the current scenario, I don't think it is a good approach to legalize it, sir. Okay. So um, suppose you are uh, the headmaster of a school, and uh, a child with special needs has come for admission. What are you going to do? Suppose your school is a normal school. So how will you tackle this situation? Will you allow for the admission? Because you do not have the you know the facilities and all. If you take the admission, then after that, what are the steps that you will take? Sir, first of all, the children is coming under inclusive education, sir. So I don't have any right to means uh, reject him on this ground. And uh, if my institution is lacking some facility with the institution means with providing the children, first I will have a conversation with the parents that uh, these facilities are currently unavailable in our school. And in some time we will just uh, provide and rectify all the means provide all the situations that are uh, needed for the child. And after that, I will have a conversation with my higher authority. What can be done in this regard? And uh, if some special educator um, should be provided um, and or needed, uh, I will also look into it. But uh, rejecting him from the school is not an option because special category school the government is also saying that instead of special category school all students should be admitted into inclusion education sir inclusive education okay okay fine so my final question to you will be according to you uh, what are the three most important qualities that educational administrators should have? Sir, educational administrators should have the knowledge of uh, academic, vast knowledge regarding academic works. Uh, secondly, sir, uh, he or she must uh, develop uh, managerial skills, how to utilize managerial skills, like uh, the human resources as well as material resources uh, available in the campus, how to utilize them. And thirdly, sir, he must be an expert in planning, executing and organizing all the things, sir, in a proper way. Okay. Okay, fine. So that will be the end of the interview. Thank you. Yes, now the feedback. So both the whole of our presentation was at last time we got the last. Only good things were left. Now you both are only. Ah, at the ha. Simply rocky was we had the class for it. But this one is okay. And you will get very good marks. Um. Did you open on cyber security to call it? Yes, sir. So, good to point to the right for the best of the poor theoretical way. Yes, sir. He upon the role of the OES officer in that role of the school or OES officer. Okay, so that would be uh, on a professor about the ball already. Okay, so Mark Sudhida out of 150, you will get around 110 for today's interview. Yes. Okay. Thank you. And sir, I have actually one doubt. Hmm. Sir, my educational gap is uh, very large actually. Absolutely. Uh, Let me just stop the.